Lesson 112 from the third review of A Course in Miracles. Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles. I am Judith and you're at the Lucid Mind Center. We are going to spice it up a little bit. So in those review sessions, we're going to do a very short Qigong alignment. Then we're going to read our lesson. We're going to contemplate it. And then I'm going to recommend the Qigong class to you, which I have recorded specifically for this lesson. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so more Course in Miracles students can find me. And also let me know where you're watching from and how long you've been with the Course in Miracles. And let me know how this whole thing is going for you. Your feedback actually helps me to record better videos and also your questions and ideas and thoughts you have and doubts. They motivate me to make better lessons. And since we are in the process of recording still in this year 2024, so your contribution is very important to me. So let's do a Qigong alignment first. Come and sit on the edge of your chair. If you've never done Qigong with me, I actually suggest you watch um, how Qigong can help you at the Course in Miracles student. So I'm going to make, make it more understandable to you when I'm using Chinese words for certain positions and things. So the first thing you do, you just come on the edge of the, the chair, put your back straight. Imagine that you are head is like hanging off a string from the sky so you're getting like a, a straight line into in your spine put a smile on your face imagine that you're growing roots to the earth from your feet and also imagine that you are growing your tailbone which is growing also into the earth and to help you with this you're just going to shake our tailbone imagine that you have got like a big dragon's tail which you're starting to wag and each time you're wagging the tail it grows deeper into the earth very good we want to help ourselves with with the breath we inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth in and ex inhale and exhale and then shake your shoulders a bit you can also lift lift your uh, feet a bit and we're gonna do uh, just a, three exercises just to activate the body lift your feet up on your toes and inhale up and then exhale down and sink your legs your feet down to the floor again and now lift up your toes. So you just want to stretch the feet a little bit. Now again, inhale up. And then exhale down. Now lift up your toes. That's it. Now sink the toes down to the floor. Now lift up your heels. And turn your hands around and exhale down. Sink your legs down. And now lift your toes. Very good. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift your heels up as you're inhaling up. Turn your hands around. Exhale, sink down your legs. Let your, let your feet touch the floor. And now lift the toes up. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. So now we have just activated our body a little bit. And now we're going to connect to the earth. We're going to feel the earth chi, which is about the height of your waist. You're probably feeling some little bit of a, a tingling sensation in your hands, that is, or in your palm of your hands, and also in the finger. And as you are focusing on it, that tingling sensation is probably increasing. That means the chi is flowing, and your chi is going exactly where your attention is going to, and that is how it is supposed to be. And then you collect this earth chi and bring it up above you and then imagine that central pole which is coming through the crown of your head all the way down into the earth and you just basically run this heavenly chi through that central channel and since we are Course in Miracles students we are actually going to connect now to our Holy Spirit first we are going to connect to the trust of the earth we're going to lift the trust and the confidence of the earth above our head and now we are going to connect to our holy self our higher consciousness our holy spirit We're going to open up the channel 
And now we are going to exhale down through the mouth. And two more. Inhale up. Collect the heavenly chi and exhale down. And one more. Inhale up. Collect the heavenly chi and exhale down. Observe how you feel. Notice that your central channel is in place. Notice that you have got a connection to the earth. And now in this particular state, lean back and let's read the lesson together. Lesson 112. For morning and evening review, here are following ideas. The first one is from lesson 93. Light and joy and peace abide in me. I am the home of light and joy and peace. I welcome them into the home I share with God because I am part of him. Now, this is a very, very important lesson for you to remember. Very important for you to experience this. So let me just repeat this. Light and joy and peace abide in me. Why do they abide in you and where do they abide in you? Well, they are abiding deep within you. And this is what we are doing when we are doing the central channel. We are opening up the awareness to the central channel. It's not like the central channel is not there when you're not thinking about it. And it's also not that joy and peace and love and strength and God and light are not in you because when you're not thinking about it, it's about bringing our awareness back to this particular moment and remembering and who and what we truly are. And as I've explained on various occasions, that central channel is also the center of your energy field. And our ego mind has kind of hijacked this, this energy field and is projecting onto this wall of that energy field on the inner wall of that energy field is projecting our world that what we see through our senses that what we perceive through our senses senses and if you are letting the ego do its thing you're going to see a miserable world so for you to change the way you are looking at this inner wall of your field is to connect again to the true self which is your holy self, the, the holy son of God, the Christ consciousness within you. And when you connect to this, when you become aware again of that central channel, and when you look out onto your field of projection, you're going to see a different world. But for, for you to see a different world, you need to become aware that you are the light of the world and that light and joy and peace abide in you and the second idea which belongs to lesson 94 is i am as god created me i will remain forever as i was created by the changeless like himself and i am one with him and he with me and on the hour you say Light and joy and peace abide in me. And on the half hour you say, I am as God created me. Beautiful. You are as God created you. There is no change to you. So you are light, joy and peace and love. That's what you truly are. Because you are how God created you. And God for many of us is a trigger word. So... I'm telling you that especially if it's the first time you are, you are landing on my lesson today. God, you can replace with any kind of word you like. You can call it higher consciousness. You can call it divine intelligence. You can call it love. You can call it source. Whatever, it, whatever you want to call it, just the awareness that there is something which is bigger than yourself and bigger than me and bigger than all of us together, that there is some sort of a creative intelligence behind this what we are experiencing as ourself and also experiencing as our world and experiencing beyond this universe so this is like a, a force which is higher than us 
And the course is teaching us constantly that we are connected to that force at all times and that we have got this higher consciousness, which is called the Holy Spirit, which is, which is our guidepost or our helper to remember that we are that true self. That Holy Spirit, you can also call whatever you like. You can call it higher consciousness. Some people call it angels. Some people um, are calling it the light being. Some people call it Christ or some people call it Jesus. You can call it whatever you like to call it. Just make it yours. Make the experience of this higher consciousness, which you have got access to, which is like the gateway or the voice for this source energy. Mm. It makes it tangible to you. And that is what we want to do in this lesson today. We want to remember that we are as God created us. And we want to remember that joy, peace and love abide deep within us. And that's why the central channel, that, that central channel within you, which I call the pillar of light, is essential to help you remember who you truly are. So this class, which I have designed for you, will help you exactly in this particular endeavor today, in remembering who you truly are. So here's the link to this particular class, which I have created specifically for this review. And here you have got a list of all the different classes which I have created for A Course in Miracle lessons. And here you have got the list of all the Course in Miracle lessons. And enjoy.